How's it going you guys? So today in this video I want to talk a little bit about salt and sodium and more importantly I want to clear up uh, something that I kind of brought up um, in some of my older videos, okay? So I made a video about uh, sodium and, and salt and how Himalayan pink salt can actually uh, solve a lot of people's breathing issues and anxiety issues and cramps and other things like that. And uh, sodium or, you know, natural salt, uh, preferably, you know, I mean, really sodium in general, but uh, is, is, it can be a positive thing. But Himalayan salt is always a better option, you know. A lot of people believe sodium is sodium, and Himalayan salt is not any different than regular table salt, which is false, but at the same time, I understand where they're coming from, and it's not entirely incorrect. Um, but they are very different. Uh, but anyway, um, the thing is here, and this is the main idea, I wanna get this out uh, straight to the point, real quick, real fast. Essentially, um, a lot of people, I suspect, okay, so there's um, fitness people, right, who have suffered uh, heart arrhythmias that become so severe that they have cardiac arrest and uh, electrolyte imbalance fluid imbalance is a huge symptom or a huge cause a huge cause of cardiac arrest okay in arrhythmias in general people with fluttering heartbeats um, they can either have too much salt sodium too much sodium in their blood you know hypernatremia or too little sodium in their blood hyponatremia both of these conditions can lead to arrhythmias, okay? If you're somebody who consumes a lot of condiments like, you know, cayenne pepper sauce, barbecue sauce, soy sauce, you put a lot, you put a, you know, even more than like a couple pinches of salt on your food, and if you're having arrhythmias, well, maybe you're eating too much sodium, or maybe you're just not drinking enough water, okay? So that's the first thing. The other thing is, and, and this is in regards to people like Bob Harper and, and other fitness people who suffer cardiac arrest out of nowhere. You know, you think, oh, they're healthy, you know, they're, they're fitness gurus. Like, why would they suffer from heart issues, right? And people try to say, oh, it's because they include like animal products and blah, blah, blah. Well, the fact is, when in the fitness industry, there's a lot of um, people who take diuretics, okay, which are drugs that cause their body to lose water and excrete sodium because this makes them look leaner and allows them to cut body weight for competitions and for photo shoots because it'll make their abs more, you know, more apparent, okay? And when you take these diuretic drugs, and these are also used to treat heart disease or high blood pressure, which is really stupid actually, um, when, you, when you take these diuretic drugs, they cause loss of electrolytes, okay? Because when you lose water from your body, you're also losing sodium, zinc, magnesium, potassium, selenium, uh, etc. Okay, uh, that's absolutely dangerous. Okay, and so what I'm getting at is this: this low sodium causes low hydration in the body. Okay, without sodium, water cannot get into the cells, and this can cause um, heart issues. Okay, so a salt-free diet or a low sodium diet and diuretic drugs—they're both not healthy. Okay, they're not. And keep in mind, a lot of common, um, you know, things that people consume on a regular basis can can increase this. Also, B vitamins will also be lost in this process. And so, a low sodium diet is not healthy. Okay, but you know they say salt's bad for you, blah blah blah. So if salt's bad for you, then uh, how can a low sodium diet diet uh, cause problems? Okay, well, it's because, you know, the medical industry uh, waters things down for the masses because the masses don't really care about their health and a simple, you know, like limit your salt intake recommendation will help a lot of people compared to just saying, hey, man, you need salt, you need, you know, 3,000 milligrams of salt per day um, and as long as you hit that number but don't go over it, you should be fine, yada, yada. You know, people need something more simpler than that. So, anyway... Um, avoiding salt can cause problems. However, and here's a clarification I'm really making this video about, that doesn't mean like, oh, well, you know, if a low sodium diet is bad for me, that means I can have all the salt I want. No, because that will cause a lot of issues too. All right? 
Um, so, first of all, you know, the, there's societies out there that consume a lot of sodium, like Japanese people, etc. Um, but they have lower risk of heart disease than Americans, or they did at one for you know for a long period of time, and they consumed a lot of sodium. But they also consumed a lot of potassium from um, you know potassium rich uh, fruits and vegetables, and mineral rich foods such as seaweeds and things of that nature, or sweet potatoes, you know whatever. So you need potassium and sodium in a balance, okay? But the bottom line is. Limiting salt intake can cause you problems at a certain point, but consuming too much sodium can also cause problems, okay? So don't go gung-ho on the salt just because I made a video talking about how some people might need more salt than others. There's hormonal issues um, like aldosterone issues um, that can cause people to need more, some people might need more salt than others because they have hormonal issues. Um, other people, might be more physically active than others and they might need more sodium because they sweat a whole lot more all right and gatorade doesn't have you know jack shit okay um you know the 45 to 100 milligrams of sodium that gatorade has it isn't really going to do you much okay like a like a fourth of a teaspoon of of salt after a long workout is much better um so you know there's different variations okay where people might need more salt than others Okay, then there's a ratio of potassium to sodium, okay, and then some people might have uh, conditions where they're better off limiting their sodium more than others, especially if you're on pharmaceutical drugs or if you've had uh, kidney issues, etc. Diuretics aren't going to help that, they're going to make it worse, okay. Anyway, um, you know, you want, to, you want to just be mindful of your body, um, be mindful of your salt intake. And if you start to experience issues associated with uh, electrolyte imbalance, such as headaches, um, you know, uh, severe anxiety, sleeplessness, dry mouth, uh, cramps, severe muscle cramps, you know, things like that, low, low blood pressure, <laughs> low blood pressure where you feel dizzy and whatnot, maybe you need a little bit more salt, you know, maybe you need some more water, maybe it's something else, magnesium or something, okay? Maybe you've had too much sodium right so it's not black and white okay I know I was really gung-ho at the moment about the sodium thing uh, with the Himalayan salt and whatnot but uh, that's because I myself needed more salt at the moment but I'm telling you right now this is how it is it's not black or white and it depends on the individual and whatnot another thing is too much potassium can also cause um, heart issues so you know, you want to stay away from isolated potassium supplements like new salt and potassium salts and other things like that. Um, some people, though, might benefit from, from it, but, you know, you want to be careful with that, okay? You know, it depends on the individual, your constitution, and whatnot. Be careful with all of this, okay? And uh, take things with a grain of salt, not a tablespoon. You get me? So I hope this has been informative, um, and uh, keep in mind, you know, minerals are a holistic, synergistic thing. Okay, if you just have, if you if you don't have enough so sodium and you have too much potassium, you have problems. You have too much sodium, not enough potassium, you have problems. You're gonna need magnesium, selenium, etc. Okay, zinc, you know, all these things are interconnected. Okay, so you know, do your own research, and uh, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.